Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tatiana and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today I'm bringing you guys my April book haul. I did pretty well in April in terms of my book buying, however you will have seen in the thumbnail that I do have quite a big stack of books. Now I did buy four books for myself but I was also very kindly gifted some books and bookish goodies from my friends, so that is why the stack in the thumbnail looks as big as it does. For those of you who don't know, I am moving house in a few weeks hopefully and that means that I do need to be more conscious of my book buying. Firstly because I need to save money and secondly because I don't have a lot of space for bookshelves in the new house which is so sad. I am planning on filming a big unhaul for you guys where I'll be taking some books off of these shelves and will be putting them on my vintage page or taking them to charity shops so keep your eyes peeled for that. I've been saying that for a few weeks now I know but I just keep putting off filming it because I know it's going to be such a big task. But as we're getting closer and closer to moving in and now things are moving along in the house as well and it's looking like we can move in hopefully by July. I really do need to get a move on with unhauling some books. As you can see I have some overflow books on my shelves and there's even more surrounding me here as well. So that is definitely coming, keep your eyes peeled for that. And it is essentially why some of my book hauls may be a little bit shorter. As I've said though I have some gifts to show you in this video which is what I'm going to start with. This community is honestly the best. Nobody Nobody ever has to send me anything but it truly is so appreciated especially these gifts this time around because I can tell that a lot of thought has gone into them and yeah it just means the world especially because I've been so stressed out recently with just life and the house and work so these really did make my day and I can't wait to show you guys what I received. So firstly I got this Evernight box and I was very confused because I'm not subscribed to Illumicrate's Evernight service however I did soon twig that this was a parcel sent to me by Chloe over at Chloe Reads Books. You may have seen that recently Chloe, Rachel and Emily met up together. Now I was actually meant to go and meet up with them as well. However, because we were let down by a builder, Tom and I had to go into the house and do a lot of work ourselves over the last few weeks. And so unfortunately I wasn't able to go and meet them. Now Chloe had very kindly made up some boxes for each of us with a book and some few other bits. And she very kindly sent this through the post to me, which again, just made my day. But before I open this I will say that one thing isn't in here anymore because that was a bar of Hershey's chocolate and I have devoured that. I think I ate that the night that this arrived actually so yeah that's not there but imagine that it is. Look at this you guys isn't it just lovely. They were all wrapped as well but I have since taken the wrapping off because there was no way I was gonna wait until filming this video to have a look at what was inside. But first up we do have a card which has my name on it and matches my outfit today and I hope Chloe doesn't mind me reading out the message but it says to Tianan, I'm so sad you're not spending the weekend with us, but life happens. Grab a book, have a relax from the busyness, and know we miss you. Love, Chloe. And oh my gosh, I was so emotional that I couldn't go anyway, and this almost tipped me over the edge. It's not often that you get to see your bookish friends, and we've been planning this for quite a while, and yeah, just typically it didn't work out for me, and I was gutted, but this just made me feel all the love. We then have this monster package in here, which I believe are uh, some bookmarks. So I'll show you one because I do feel like it's going to be hard to show you. Oh, there's two stuck to each other actually. So maybe you'll be able to see, but essentially, can you see that one is hooked on the other? But it's a page holder, I want to say. So you put the monster's arms over the page of your book to use as a bookmark is what I've gotten from that. There weren't any kind of instructions or anything. So if I'm wrong, then I apologize, but I think that these are so cute and I will definitely be using them. Next up, I got a mango bath visit, which I really did want to use the other week, but I didn't want this box to be completely empty when I showed it to you, so I have saved it. But you can bet that after this video, I am going to be using it because I love mango. It's one of my favorite scents. And I just feel like I need a bit of a pamper because again, I've been working at the house, doing a lot of physical work. I go to the gym a lot. I'm also training for a 5K. I'm running the Race for Life, which probably will have happened by the time you see this video. And yeah, my body needs some TLC. So again, thanks Chloe for this. It's very thoughtful. And and I can't wait to have a bath with it. And then another thing to relax me a little bit is this avocado face mask. Now, if you guys have seen Chloe's channel, you know how much she loves avocados. And I must say, I do enjoy avocados. I don't absolutely love them, but I feel like this is going to be so nice to put on my face. I'm definitely looking a little tired and haggard and stressed out. So this will definitely be appreciated. And yeah, I will probably be using this one around the same time that I'll be using the bath bomb. And then lastly, we have the book. Now 
this is the 20 by Sam Holland. I haven't actually heard of this one, I don't think, but just from the get-go, you can probably tell that this is a mystery thriller. I love a good thriller. I feel like they're exactly what I need most of the time because they are fast-paced books with an element of murder mystery in there and they just hook me. So Chloe definitely hit the nail on the head with this one. It says, a shocking crime scene, a case that twists and turns, a race against time to stop a killer. DCI Adam Bishop is rocked by a chilling discovery. Five dead bodies, each marked with a number, a serial killer is counting down. When Dr. Romilly Cole learns of the murders, she is forced to confront a past she had hoped to bury. But getting involved with the case means colliding with Bishop, a risky move with a complicated history. As the bodies keep falling, Romilly and Adam link the crimes to an old case, and they realise Romilly holds the key to the mystery. But the clock's ticking, and the killing's edge closer to home with every new victim. Yep, I desperately want to read this now. I do love a thriller that involves the police in some way as well, and because we have that extra layer of drama in here because of the relationship between the characters. I feel like it's gonna make for an interesting read. So thank you so, so much, Chloe. I'm so sad that I couldn't join you guys on the weekend that you had planned. Hopefully we can meet up again soon though, but yeah, this definitely made my day. I'm sure I've said that a few times throughout this clip, but it really did. It meant the world that you even thought of me and put all this together. And as I mentioned, I really did need this right now. So massive thank you. I hope you had a lovely weekend regardless, and I will definitely be getting good use out of everything in this box. And then next up I received some lovely gifts from Nathan, so thank you so so much Nathan. When I tell you that I was so excited when opening this parcel, I am not exaggerating. I put these on my wish list as a kind of wild card, I suppose. I do that sometimes with a few things that I've seen. I'll chuck it on my wish list, not really expecting anything to come of it, of course, but Nathan <laughs> went above and beyond and he sent me two things which, again, Again, I just can't believe. The first of those is a Disney 100 Years of Wonder colouring book. You guys know I'm a massive Disney fan and yeah 100 Years of Disney is being celebrated this year. This is going to be very hard to show you but it has a bunch of different illustrations that I haven't yet coloured because I wanted to show you guys but Tom and I are planning a trip to Walt Disney World in Florida next year. I'm so excited I honestly can't wait and this will be the perfect thing to pick up in the lead up to that trip and just wind down and colour in. I've been a Disney fan my whole life. My dream has been to go to Disney World and the fact that we are hoping to go next year and the fact that Nathan has sent me this is just amazing. I really couldn't believe it and I'm so happy that I do own it because I do love sitting down with a colouring book and an audiobook on and just getting lost to the world for a little bit of time. Something else that he got me which will definitely be the same case is this puzzle. Look at this you guys. Again this was my wild card. I feel like because this is a book I can get away with putting it on my wish list but the puzzle was something that I put on there just so that I could go back to it if I wanted to which I definitely would have but this is fantastic. It has a bunch of different Disney characters on there who we know and love and I couldn't not put it on my wish list when I saw it because this is a bit of me. I love my puzzles and I really wanted one that would make me want to finish it as well and this is definitely that. It is a thousand pieces which is going to take me quite a while but again it's one that I can do in the lead up to our trip. I am planning on filming a Disney day at home vlog at some point again in the lead up to our trip so I will probably be using these in that vlog which will be very exciting but yeah I just can't believe that Nathan got me the book and also this the fact that he got me two things is just mind-blowing but they're two things that I am going to get a lot of use out of and I just can't wait to actually start with both of them. So a massive massive thank you Nathan for sending these to my way. You really didn't have to but again it really did make me the absolute happiest and I just can't wait to sit down and get started on these. Right moving into the books that I bought myself this month. The first one I have to show you is Burning Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Webber. This is the third book in the Twin Crown series. I don't know if the series has a particular name but I own the first and second books. I haven't read them yet which is very embarrassing but this was being released in the gorgeous Waterstones exclusive edition and I had to get it in order to match my other two books. Now I did actually get two editions of this book because I wasn't sure which edition I wanted to keep however you can tell by the stenciled edges that I've shown you which one I did decide to go with. I hadn't actually realised but I've taken all of the books off of my shelves to show you. I have gone with the rose edition for the first and second books and so I decided to stick with that one for the final book. Look at these stenciled edges guys, how beautiful 
are they together i am just obsessed the covers as well are gorgeous so i'll show you the cover for the first book which is twin crowns the second book which is cursed crowns and honestly i feel like this is my favorite because of the color scheme and the lightning and then of course the last book which is burning crowns and this one has the sword as i mentioned i did love both waterstones exclusive editions for this book but i couldn't justify keeping two i really didn't need it and the fact that this matched the other ones essentially is what swayed my decision now because i don't know anything about this series i will read you the synopsis of the first book i am planning on reading the first book later on this year actually as part of buzzwordathon so hopefully that will make me fly through the second and third books as well but the synopsis of the first book reads two sisters one crown princess rose valhart is heir to the throne of yana trained from birth to fear the witches that killed her parents she will do anything to defend her kingdom stolen from the palace at birth ren greenrock is the secret sister no one knows about she plots to usurp the princess in order to protect the witches of author who raised her in the battle for the crown of yana where will your allegiances lie so it doesn't give too much away which i actually quite like i also like that we have a royalty in here we have a sisterly relationship which is definitely a buzzword for me and all in all i just think it's going to be really interesting to read from two different perspectives who are living such different lives i am gonna have to take this sticker off in a bit though i have definitely been scared to do so i'm hoping it doesn't leave too much of a mark because again the cover for this is beautiful please let me know down below do you guys hate stickers on books as much as i do because yeah they really irritate me i feel like there's a better way to do it without putting actual sticky stuff on there i'm not sure but yeah i'm gonna have to try and take that off in a bit in order to see all of the covers beautiful art the next book i have is another beautiful edition and that one is tales of the celestial kingdom by su lin tan this is the fairy loot edition and we do have some stenciled edges there as well it's a very short book i was expecting it to be a little bit longer i'm not gonna lie because this book cost quite a bit and if you guys have seen my reviews for the daughter of the moon goddess and the sequel i didn't really love it but i wanted to get this book because i thought it would give me a bit more of an insight into the world the one thing about the books that i did like was the mythology aspect and I feel like we didn't get that enough so the fact that we have I believe some short stories in here about certain mythological stories is what ultimately sold me so it says here Su Lin Tan's highly acclaimed best-selling Celestial Kingdom duology is expanded with this new compilation of stories from before during and after the events of Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior all from the perspective of beloved characters Tales of the Celestial Kingdom collects nine spellbinding stories two previously published seven original including the epilogue to the duology set in the enchanted world of Sulin Tan's stunning debut. Filled with magic and mythology, friendship and love, these stories intertwine through the past, present and future of the two novels, told from the perspectives of multiple characters including Chang'e, Shuk Shou, Li Wei and Wen Zi. With beautiful illustrations from Kelly Chong throughout, these wondrous tales make the perfect complement to Sulin Tan's breathtaking series. I will give you an in-depth look at this edition quickly because I haven't filmed an unboxing for it, but this is the design printed on the book itself which is gorgeous. We then have the stenciled edges which hopefully are in focus but again they are beautiful we have this artwork on the front end pages and i believe we have different ones at the back yes we do this is the artwork on the back which again is beautiful it is also signed by the author which is a nice touch and i'm not actually sure if they have changed the front cover at all if they have i will overlay a picture of the original cover up on screen but i love this pale pink and blue i think it works so nicely and yeah the illustrations are just gorgeous and of course the same design carries over onto the stenciled edges i will say i'm not a massive fan of short stories usually so i am intrigued to see what i will think of this one but i am happy to have it it's a beautiful edition that will go very nicely with the other two books and as i've said hopefully it will give me more of an insight into the world of the duology as well as we are steering away from the main plot of the two books the next book i have is is the House of Mirrors by Erin Kelly, which is a thriller. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did think about sending this one back however as you can see i did decide to keep it i was gonna read it and make up my mind at the start of last month however i wasn't in the space to read this book i did try and start it but i didn't get too far in i have been a bit slumpy recently i've been struggling with picking books up and starting them and this was one that i started and put down i will say though the synopsis sounds intriguing and the main reason that i decided to keep it was because of the goodreads ratings i believe that it has 
has a very high rating on Goodreads and I wanted to find out why. This one says, a dark and suspenseful novel about deadly family secrets from best-selling author of The Skeleton Key. In the sweltering summer of 1997, straight-laced, straight-A student Karen met Bieber, a bohemian and impossibly glamorous aspiring actress. A few months later, two people were dead and another had been sent to prison. Having stood by Rex as he served his sentence, Karen is now married to him with a daughter, Alice, who runs a vintage clothing shop in London. They're a normal family as long as they don't talk about the past, never mention the name Bieber and ignore Alice's flashes of dark, dangerous fury. Karen has kept what really happened that summer of 97 hidden deep inside her. Alice is keeping secrets of her own, but when anonymous notes begin to arrive at Alice's shop, it seems the past is about to catch up with them all. So it definitely sounds intriguing. I like that it's somewhat historical. I don't want to call the 90s historical, but of course it's set in modern day and also has some time jumps from what I can gather. So I feel like that is definitely going to be very interesting. The fact that the daughter is involved as well has me intrigued and I'm excited to see where the story goes and what the mystery is and what their involvement is. This also annoyingly has a stick on there, so I will try and peel it off in a minute. But yeah, the cover is beautiful. The synopsis does sound intriguing and if I don't like it, I will gift it to my mum who really does enjoy her thriller books. And then the last book I have to show you guys today is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. This is once again a Waterstones exclusive edition with these gorgeous stenciled edges. This is Lee Bardugo's latest release. I did have it pre-ordered ever since it was announced to be honest with you and of course it is finally here now so I'm very excited to get to it. I honestly don't know what this one is about you guys. I have stayed away from all reviews and I don't think I've read the synopsis. I just ordered it because it's a new release from one of my favourite authors. So the synopsis reads, fate can be changed, curses can be broken. In a shabby house in the new capital of Madrid, Lucia Cotado uses scraps of magic to get through her days of endless toil. But when her scheming mistress discovers her scullion is hiding a talent for little miracles, she demands Lucia use those gifts to win over the royal court. Determined to seize this chance to better her fortunes, Lucia plunges into a world of power-hungry nobility, desperate kings, holy men and seers, where the lines between magic magic, science and fraud blur. With the pyres of the Inquisition burning, she must use every bit of her wits and resilience to win fame and hide the truth of her ancestry, even if that means enlisting the help of an embittered immortal familiar, whose own secrets could cost her everything. And then there's a quote at the bottom which I like that says, from the Sunday Times best-selling author comes a bewitching novel brimming with peril in a world where a woman's ambition can prove deadly. I will say that I have heard very positive things about this book, but a lot of people say to just dive in without any real expectations, so that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure when I will get to it, I'm hoping I can prioritise it pretty soon, but because it's a book that involves the witch trials, I may push it closer to September time, we shall see. So there we have it guys, these are all of the books that I either bought or received in April, as well as this puzzle from Nathan. A massive thanks once again to Chloe and Nathan for sending me some amazing gifts. You really didn't have to, but yeah, they did make me feel a lot better and I just can't believe that I'm part of such an amazing community where people are so kind. I feel like this is a very good haul. I have a mix of different genres in here. I have a short book, a set of short stories, I have a book from a favourite author and I have some books that I don't know too much about just yet. So all in all I feel like this is a very nice haul and I'm excited to put all of these books onto my shelves and hopefully prioritise them this year. If you have made it this far through into the video and would like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and leave me the big X emoji down below. Of course we have a big X on the front of the 20 and I just feel like it's a very striking cover and the emoji might make people a bit more curious. So if you don't have anything in particular that you would like to say but you would like to let me know that you're still here please go ahead and comment that now. As well as that please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it for me today guys, thank you so so much for watching, it truly does mean the world to me and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!